Uh, welcome to Evelyn. It's uh, evolution learning environment. Okay. Um, we are uh, we are Juan Pablo Motesi and Julian Fichetti, uh, students at uh, <coughs> Universidad Nacional de Quilmes and software developers in Markup Software. Uh, we are talk about uh, of uh, what has. Uh, uh, what is an evolutionary algorithm? Okay, I try. It's <laughs> really difficult. <laughs> um, what is Evelyn? A workflow of an evolutionary algorithm and future work. Uh, to start, uh, what is an evolutionary algorithm? Evolutionary algorithms are protocols based on evolutionary biology uh, and are used to find and uh, find and optimize solutions. According to Darwin's theory, uh, there are a number of entities that represent a possible solution. This solution cross and um, compete among them uh, to find a better solution. Uh, these principles apply to evolutionary algorithm. Entities are called uh, individuals. A group of individuals are called population. And the individuals uh, can be modified with a uh, genetic operators. Uh, these genetic operators we will talk about in the future slides. slides. <laughs> okay, uh, for, uh, what is Evel uh, Evelyn? Uh, Evelyn is a framework oriented to understand and develop evolution, evolutionary algorithm. Uh, we have two motivations to create this framework. The first one is uh, uh, Okay, uh, it's a uh, final work in the career, um, and the second and the most important, it's um, it's an educate and <laughs> explain uh, the evolutionary algorithm. Um, in a little research, um, the framework is, uh, with uh, uh, the framework using the evolutionary algorithm are oriented to performance. Uh, and are difficult to understand and create a new experiment. Evelyn aims to lower this difficulty. Okay, uh, what are the components the, of Evelyn? Uh, in, this, uh, in the package, uh, we can find a class uh, called evolutionary algorithm, which contains all the steps to evolutionary algorithm. Uh, and the context. The context is um, a class who contains all the um, configured components. Uh, after to explain these components, uh, to understand how Evelyn works, use two examples. The first one, and the simple one, it's a uh, max function. In this case, uh, we have definition identity. And we are, we are looking uh, the maximum number into a range. And the second one, it's a traveling salesman problem, uh, also known as DSP. Uh, in the problem, uh, it's uh, given a list of cities uh, with a distance among them, uh, which is the shortest possible route uh, to visit each city uh, once and go back to the first city. Uh, first component is the individual of the possible solution. Um, an individual contains a genotype. Uh, a genotype is a collection of genes. A sheen is a characteristic of the individual. Uh, we create an um, after class uh, who uh, and the individual and the current individual of the possible solution, uh, we can uh, implement these two messages. Uh, genotypes returns a list of genotypes, uh, and from genotypes create a new instance of uh, an individual using the list of uh, genotypes. Um, in the examples, we create a numeric individual which genotypes are a binary. Um, and the, in, in the second example, um, we create a roadmap who contains a list of cities, and each city 
contains a uh, number and um, geolocalizations. Okay, um, the second, it's a generation. A generation is, is um, an abstract class, no, sorry, in, it's an abstraction that contains a collection of individuals uh, and the number to identify the number of gener generation. Uh, the second component is uh, fitness and surreal selection. Uh, fitness quantifies the individuals and select, uh, surreal selection selects the best one of the previous step. Uh, uh, it's this comport, uh, comportable, uh, it's um, in an uh, AMSA class called Surveyor Selection Strategy. Uh, in the examples, uh, we have uh, two classes, a uh, numeric Surveyor Selection Strategy, um, uh, sorts the individual from the maximum to the, mini uh, to the minimum, and the second class, uh, have traveling selection strategy and um, sort the roadmaps uh, to let the shortest path at the beginning. Okay. Around the microphone, so now post Okay. Okay, uh, this uh, object, it's, uh, his uh, responsibility is uh, use the previous potential function, uh, potential solution or individuals and clone it. Uh, these cloned objects are used on the next step and this class is don't need uh, to classify or modify because it's the same uh, behavior for, for all experiment. Uh, it's simple, uh, first uh, determine uh, how much parent do you need and the second uh, step is clone this, this parent. Um, crossover, uh, on this step um, take uh, two uh, parents and mix it. Uh, this uh, behavior is defining on crossover strategy hierarchy and implements just this message. Um, on the example, uh, the numeric uh, function as using numeric crossover strategy and use the XOR operation. Uh, on this case, the first genotype are a collection of, no. of uh, bits and the second uh, some bits. Uh, and the result is the crossover of the two genotypes. On the travel segment problem, it's more <coughs> complex uh, because you don't can convince your cities. And on this case, uh, takes a first genotype and split it on two collections. Um, before that, uh, after that, uh, take the result of the first split and uh, subtract of the second parent CD and take an result. And the last pass is uh, concat to the results of the first genotype and the second genotype. Uh, mutation. Uh, after you mix the, the parent, it's done of mutate the individuals. Um, Evelyn pro, uh, supply uh, three um, three kinds of of, eh, of mutation, or say, um, implementation. Um, one is swap mutation, take a list of genotypes and swap two positions. On this case, is a uh, collection of numbers and take position two and six and swap them. 
On this case, is inversion mutation. You can take a, a subset of genotypes and reverse them. And the last uh, mutation, it's it's different like the the previous because on this case you not um, change the genotype's position. Um, you uh, change the genotype. Um, on this case, it's uh, bits and flip them. If you have a one, change to zero. If you have zero, change to, to one. <laughs> Stop criteria. Um, and this tip is uh, you if, if define uh, when you uh, finish the experiment. Um, just have two implementations. Uh, one is simple, is at a generation number, stop the experiment. And, and the other, it's uh, configurable because res uh, receive a, a block or a polymorphic object and determinates when the, st the, the experiment is, is ending. Okay, using Evelyn, these two examples are implemented uh, just using five, uh, five uh, custom class um, and on the other example, the TSP, just use six class. Uh, this class has a few line of code um, and this type of calculator maybe have a little more but it's the the specific class of the DOM. Um, this is a workflow use Evelyn. Uh, first, uh, initialize the uh, population. After that, if you have lucky and your experiment is success with this population, finish the experiment. If you not, uh, continue to the next step. The evaluation, selection, reproduction, it's, it's the, the parent selection. Uh, crossover and mutation. Uh, on this case, uh, will we find a, a figure with a, a 7H? Future work. Uh, on this time, Evelyn just support uh, evolutionary algorithms, but uh, we uh, we can add more um, metaheuristics like uh, neural networks. Uh, and comparison between two experiments, uh, like the result of neural network and result of the evolutionary algorithms. Um, more experiments like portfolio selection. Um, extend report, I don't think about it, but we have uh, reports, uh, three kinds of report. One is no record, it's a null record, do nothing. Another one is dump the the result of each uh, generation to, to file. And the other one is collect the result on memory. Uh, maybe add a web UI to user and configure experiment to, to run it. Or uh, maybe uh, show the uh, live result of the experiment. Uh, Okay, thanks, this is all. Uh, this is the we personal emails, the GitHub repository of the Evelyn and our mentor, Dr. Tagman. <laughs> um, questions? Yes. So is the, uh, maybe you mentioned it, but I, I uh, maybe you mentioned uh, is the result of using this kind of algorithm for the salesman problem a good idea? Does it give a good result or not? Uh, it's a solution. Uh, it's a possible solution uh, to get a result because it's an entry problem. But how good is the solution? Uh, we it's only with a few cities you can uh, actually. Uh, do in, in, in hand the result, mm -hmm. but uh, in approximately 10 generations, get a uh, decent result. 
it's a six series okay. that it's working. Okay. <laughs> Any question more? <laughs> Did you do this with uh, some application in mind or just a general? A general. How bad is the performance of this? Is you, do you have a several penalty for uh, doing a simple model? Really, I, I don't know. No, uh, it's uh, the, the example is simple ones. Uh, you, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Thanks.